So it is time now to know what's on the front pages of the Nigerian newspapers. Lawyer and social development advocate Gide Ologun, as well as uh, another lawyer, Tunji Abdul Hamid, joins us now to look at the papers. Gentlemen, good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. You're good welcome. Morning. Good morning. All right, we head straight to the papers now, and I begin with uh, the Tribune. Kidnappers kill policemen, abduct four in Abuja, three women in Ibadan. Kidnappers kill policemen, abduct four in Abuja, three women in Ibadan. You find details of uh, that story on the pages of the Tribune newspaper. To the leadership now, electoral offenses bill, political parties, officials risk 50 million naira fine over unqualified candidates. Uh, electoral offenses bill, political parties uh, official, risk uh, 50 million naira fine over unqualified candidates. Uh, details of the story on the pages of the leadership newspaper. To the Daily Times now, EFCC arrests Okurocha. EFCC arrests Okurocha. To the blueprint, IPOP to Southeast Youth. Embrace Ebubagu, join your ancestors. IPOP to Southeast Youth, embrace Ebubagu, join your ancestors. Details of the story you find on the pages of the Blueprint newspaper. To the Daily Independent now, Jet A1 at 275 Naira per litre increases fear of adulteration uh, airfare hike. Jet A1 at 275 Naira per litre increases uh, fear of adulteration airfare hike. Hike. Details of the story on the front on the pages of uh, the Daily Independent newspaper. To the national economy now, Nigeria's external debt to revenue rises by 400% in 10 years. Nigeria's external debt to revenue rises by 400% in 10 years. To the business day, privatizing NNPC's pipelines can save Nigeria 59 billion naira yearly. A privatizing NNPC's pipelines can save Nigeria 59 billion naira yearly. To the Daily Trust now, seven years after abduction, we want to see our daughters before we die. Chibok parents, 112 girls still in captivity. Uh, Nigeria yet to learn from Chibok tragedy, Amnesty International. Most of freed 107 students yet to pass SSE. Others dropped out, got married. All right. To uh, the Nigerian News Direct now, Army Chief to Reps, invite my predecessors on funds for arms. Nigeria to receive six Super Tucano combat aircraft in mid-July presidency. To the Nation newspaper now, uh, Governor's Kick against uh, Buhari's executive order. We don't need EO10, that's executive order 10, to implement financial autonomy for legislature judiciary. Uh, you'll find details of the story. On the pages of uh, the Nation newspaper, we'll be looking at that shortly. To the Punch newspaper now, legislature, judiciary, autonomy, governors oppose Buhari's executive order 10, back financial autonomy, La Long. Federal government can't force governors to enforce financial autonomy, Plateau Governor. NGF, that's Governors Forum, plans talks with judiciary workers to end Jusun's eight day strike. To the Vanguard newspaper now, uh, kidnappings, killings, doctors, nurses, and strike in Ugun. Bandits kidnap women in Oyo. Hunters await government's approval to rescue victims. National Union of Road Transport Workers commences e-tracking of uh, vehicles. Well, to the Daily Sun now, as, uh, fight, as fight against criminals gets tougher, Army recalls retirees... Uh, we took step to support national security operation, chief of uh, army staff. Well, we took uh, steps to support national security operations. That's the story you find on the front page of uh, the Daily Sun. Let's move to our focus this morning, talking about governors kicking against President Harry's executive uh, order 10. Uh, talking about financial autonomy for legislature and the judiciary. We know that uh, there has been a strike now for about eight days, pushing for financial autonomy and other things with regards to the judiciary and uh, the legislature. And 
Uh, the governors are saying that uh, the executive order 10 that the president made, I think, in 2020 was not necessary, uh, that they didn't need that or they don't need that to ensure uh, that uh, they push for the financial autonomy that is necessary. But the question on the lips of some person is, if you knew that uh, this executive order was not necessary, why wait up till the president now came and the, the reaction that it generated? Why didn't you go ahead uh, to ensure that this, you know, financial autonomy was in place before the president had to now come up with an executive order? Let's begin with you, uh, Tunji. Yeah, let, me, let me first of all agree with you that the executive order 10 is not necessary. Right. It's just because it's just to complement the provision of uh, 12173 of mm -hmm. the condition of the year as amended. Like, like, just like we rightly said, yeah, when they know that it's not necessary, why are they not complying with it? Yeah. Why are they trying to uh, relegate the provisional condition into the background? You know, they, they also want in, into, the, into, into, the, into the governor uh, to uphold the <coughs> provision of the constitution. Absolutely. But they are not doing that. So I, I think uh, the order came in by the president to say, look, let's force uh, to serve as, as, as exactly to, to, ensure. Say, to ensure that uh, they comply with the provision of the constitution, which I, I, I applaud the president for that, even though, like I said, it's not necessary. But at least it's an attempt to say, okay, let's. That executive order 10 is what, what is making people to now clamor for financial autonomy uh, or compliance with that section of the constitution mm. as it is now. So I, I, I think uh, we are in a country whereby those in authority they don't respect the law, don't do things in line with the law. And th this is, that is one of the major reasons why we are where we are today here, because of lack of uh, respect for the rule of law. Lack of respect for the provision of the constitution. You don't ask it as a governor. You must lead by example. You, well, lead me by example means that you must go by what the law says, mm -hmm. even if it's against your interest. In as much as that is the position of the law, you must go by it. But they want a situation whereby they, they will still be in control of the judiciary because, so that they will be able to use them for, or direct them the way they like. Because it will take the, 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 the. Who pays the who paper? Who pays the paper? Yeah. And that's why you see them most times. They, 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 they will say we are, we, the social governor has given 25 SUV to the, to, to the judges and people, and people will be clapping. Even the judges, they will be clapping as if they, 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 are, they are begging for it. I, I, sometimes when I see that, that I, got, I, I get annoyed. Say, look, why are these people even appraising, app applauding this uh, gesture? It is not a good, it's not a gesture at all. You are just doing them, it's not a favor. Mm. It's not a favor. It's their, it's their right. They are supposed to even do it by themselves, not you doing it for them. So if you are not doing it for them, they won't add the uh, uh, F on tree to challenge anything you are bringing before them. They will see you as doing them as they are, you know, they know they will come to you for a particular thing. They will come for you for this and that. So in, in that case, they will be wary in trying to do anything you want to, you want, you want, that, that, that's not in line with the law. If, uh, that is, that, if, if, if anything you want them to do, they will be ready to, to ab abide by it. So I, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's unnecessary for the governors to hold on to, to, to the, to the uh, fans of the judiciary. I am in support of Jusun. I am, I am in support of the strike. I am totally in support of it. All right. Let's get uh, Gideon Lugu's perspective to this now. I, I wonder if you are in support of the strike and uh, also agreeing with the governors that uh, this executive order 10 is not necessary. But the question is, why did you have to wait? Beyond supporting the strike, we have the reality on ground, mm. which could have been avoided. But the governors are coming to say that um, <clears throat> the they are not happy with the executive order 10. It is not about the executive order 10, but the fact that the executive order 10 itself was like bringing a cane to force <laughs> a student to do what should be done in the class. The provisions of the constitution is very clear, and that is a grand norm in Nigeria. If you look at sections 80, 81, 84, and section 121 of the Nigerian constitution 1999 as amended, these things are stipulated. So, and if we need to come to the point of ruling out executive order for those who should respect the laws, to respect the laws, we have problems. Mm. In fact, in the U.S., when the concept of executive order came up, it was to make demands on parastatus of government to come and present their reports to the people that this is what we have done. And when you talk about developing a nation, you have three critical elements. You, you have to embark on human capital development, infrastructural development, and development of institutions. Mm. And here we are now. And it's executive to executive. We have three arms of government uh, that are independent, though they are to synergize. And you see the executive like holding the neck 
of the judiciary. But we are talking about this at the state level. And in HR, you talk of industrial relations. And uh, going on strike is like at the tail end of everything when it appears as if the yearnings of the stakeholders are not being uh, respected or attended to. And who are the victims? Nigeria generally. Because yes. right now, we have not even been discussing the billions of Naira we have lost in the last one week. And the impact of this on corruption, mm. even before they came to the point of going on strike. So how, and you see a situation where uh, those who are to ensure the smooth rolling of the processes in the country appear to be, you know, gambling with the progress of the nation because if the governors are now telling uh, the president that they were not carried along, along and um, of course the attorney general of the federation will say no we will fully implement the spirit of the executive on that time. i mean it's quite ridiculous and um, here we are today the lawyers are groaning and this may continue if we don't visit the fundamentals do we begin to respect the laws of the land mm. if not you beg them now, they go back to work. What happens in seven, year, in, in seven months' time? The, the Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria rolled out a threat to go on strike yes. in January 2021. So for how long do we continue here? And uh, for, 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 the, for the executive arm mm -hmm. also, what will it take you to release this? Let them have their autonomy because the spirit, the intention of the autonomy is to enable the judiciary, you know, build infrastructure, develop the judicial system in a way that you can trust the products coming from that arm of government. Mm. Because in the absence of effective management of the funds and direct involvement, you may have some levels of manipulations, like a barrister Abdul Abner rightly pointed out. If I have to wait for the governor to give me uh, cars, the uh, cars. Uh, Land Cruiser 2022. You know, definitely I must look at his eyes sometimes mm. to influence whatever. So we need that independence. We learned as far back as primary school in civic that um, uh, the three arms of government are even supposed to be there for checks and balances. Checks and balances the executive, the judiciary, and the legislative, legislative arms. So we just expect that they will all sit up now include the governors and all of them and ensure that we go back to the right template which is respect for the rule of law that's when we can have peace that's when we can have progress that's when we can have prosperity mm. as a people now they are to meet with the governors today or the governors are to meet with uh, them today to iron out some of the gray areas um that was an issue when it comes to uh, the aspect of uh, the financial autonomy law. Uh, they are going to iron out some gray areas and also talk with um, members of uh, Jusun. I wonder what you think uh, Jusun should put on the front burner this time around to drive home the point and ensure that they get the result as it is. Because uh, so much has been happening. When you look at the papers, I think yesterday, uh, there were complaints about the prisons, you know, being filled up. There's so many cases on the ground, like you mentioned, the billions we have lost. Uh, we must agree, get to a point where there is something concrete reached today so that we can move forward. Uh, our democracy also depends on this. And we know, as we often say, that uh, this is the last hope of the common man. Something has to be done. This is the last. Judiciary should be the last. last hope. Of the, should be in Nigeria. Should it, it be. should be the last hope of common man. It's not. It is not. Wow. It's not. And it, this, this is one of the reasons. Mm. Not lack of independence, lack of financial autonomy. Because I, I, I remember in 2019 during the NBA conference, a, a judge, a CJ at that time, of Edo State, said that uh, a, an issue was raised by Lanes Sik Malamola Ali to the fact that he was advising the judges not to be timid. And the, the CJ puts up and says, look, we are not timid. We should not be expected to, to challenge those who pay our salary. Mm. You see where we're going now. So in other words, whatever they bring to them, you know, as much as they are the one paying their salary, they, they mm. must go by it, mm. whether it's legal or not legal. So that, that is the reason why they must be independent. And that's what Jusin is fighting for now, independence of judiciary. Because if the judiciary is not independent, there's no way they can be last hope. This will be influenced 
by people who have the, their, their key <coughs> in their hands. So is the issue of uh, being independent is basically the, uh, rooted to being, uh, uh, having a financial uh, autonomy. autonomy. So without the financial autonomy, they can't be. So I would not expect anything less from Jusun. Anything the I don't want to I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to understand the gray area they want to to, iron to out. Iron out. There should not there should not be any gray area here because the condition is clear. The National Assembly is collecting their money directly from the from the from the national from the there was no any gray area to be resolved in that regard. The executive are collecting their own directly from the from the national point. There is no gray area to be resolved there. Why must it be gray area when it comes to the judiciary? There, I will not expect you to expect anything less than say we have agreed, we are going to implement it. That's all. I don't want to hear any any other thing that, that, that has to do with uh, we, are, we are going to enter an agreement and then we will be in, in phases or it will be this and that, <laughs> it, will be, it, it will be unacceptable to me. As far as I'm and it will be a waste of time because people have, been, uh, people, people have suffered for this just one week. Yeah. You can you imagine the number of people in, in, waiting for trial who have been detained you know, without any trial, without anything, and they have been, they have been kept in custody because there is nowhere to go. Do you, can you imagine those judge, judge, judgments that people have been expecting that they are not able to, to, to get? I know somebody who just want to do ordinary affidavit hmm. that will be beneficial for, uh, for, 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 for his child abroad. And it has a time, time limit. It's running late now. You won't be able to do it. Those are, you know, as this was they are, they are very important. Right. All right. Let's quickly move now to the Daily Independent, and uh, the story there is saying Jet A1 at uh, 275 naira per liter increases uh, fear of adulteration, airfare hike. Even before this hike, the airfare has. Uh, <laughs> has been something that a lot of persons are saying that uh, they can't really afford. But now we are seeing that um, there is an airfare hike. Uh, I wonder your reaction to, to this development, uh, the affairs of adulteration now. It, it's quite worrisome in the sense that, again, we have not laid the foundation to ensure that we have productive operations in the aviation. For example, if our uh, uh, refineries are functioning very well and by now we have even built more then we can refine the products we have the raw materials here rather than importing the product at high rates and we have to deploy to those who use the products and of course the cost will be passed down to so the, the passengers, passengers and yes. like um, barista abdulhamid mentioned that it is expected that the judiciary should be the last hope of the common, of the man. common man but you see how many common men can afford the charges of mm. lawyers, particularly in a highly competitive environment like Nigeria, you know. And this is what we are experiencing. And when people do not freely move around to carry out businesses, it also disturbs the contribution to national economy. Mm. And you now benchmark this with the other uh, effects that is bringing up to the, to the level of hyperinflation now. Right. Because, of course, if I'm going to pay, for example, 90,000 Naira for a one-way ticket to Abuja just to attend a session in the Supreme Court and come back to Lagos, then I need to pass part of it to, to, your client. to the clients. Mm -hmm. And the clients also will have to pass it to the customers that come. And we need to look at all of this. You, you know, we are gradually destroying the economy of this nation. And when investors, we talk about foreign direct investment uh, investors, when they begin to look out for where to invest, they check your economic environment, your political environment. Right now, some Nigerians are not happy that yes. Twitter yes. is we going to set up yes. uh, in, in the Ghana. African headquarters in Ghana. Do you know that Toyota already has a firm mm. in Ghana? True. So we, you, we are missing brilliant opportunities. We need to look at all these policies. And shockingly true also in the aviation sector of our national life. I understand there is a, a policy now that you cannot pick up passengers at, at some airport. Where is it done in the world? Well, that, that's so because right of now, the security, security threat. Yes, but the insecurity threat is also a deliberate issue. Do, deliberate? Do we, yes. Do we have that insecurity threat in Dubai? Do we have in GFK in the... In, 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 in New York and some other countries of, of the world, in Abu Dhabi, all right? Because the moment I read that there's a threat of attacking airports, I knew something was coming. You see, we, we need to get serious as a nation. We are not an island. People mm. are interested in doing business in your communities, but how easy is it to do business in, in, in the community? So uh, right now, maybe many people will be. And to make it worse, the alternative of traveling by road, 
It's a very dangerous venture. Dangerous venture. So what happened? So you now have an economic lockdown or what? I mean, this government should sit up and realize that if we don't rejig all these policies, we may soon be moribund in the global economic community. What are the implications for you, uh, uh, Tunji Abdelhamid? What do you see with this uh, headline? The implication is that it will cause more hardship to the people. And uh, I just pray also, the, the, my fear, just like the, the phrase, that uh, we won't see a fake and uh, untreated uh, aviation, aviation fare, just like we've seen, uh, you know, whenever we have a, a fairly, uh, uh, in, uh, what's it called, scarcity. Yes. You know, yeah, you see fare everywhere, different places, and then you have a issue with your cars so, so many times. So I just pray the life of Nigerians will not be put in danger by factual this uh, adulterated uh, whatever in, in the case of all borders on lack of uh, government, government doing the right thing. Our economy is bad. That is the reality. We, uh, the, 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 the economists, the, the story of uh, our GDP or whatever PP is, is moving up, uh, we are now, we've exceeded, uh, exceeded uh, the session. These are just paperwork, as far as I'm concerned. But any economy that do not have real effects, on the people, as far as I'm concerned, it, 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 there's no any improvement in it. Hmm. Your, your, your improvement on paper must have effect on the must part, reflect on must the reflect people. on the, on the, on the, on the, of the of living people. of the people. Yes. The, the issue of uh, tra traveling by road or whatever is not for common man. Those, your leaders are not, they don't, they don't, I don't know whether they travel on the road. They now, the, the private jet is now like a, 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 a car. Bit, bit is now. Yeah, it's, it's like, that, that's, what, that's what they do now. It's just like I'm to, they go to Abuja, some, some of them go two, three times a day. Just like as if they're going to the Ankara there. You see, so if, 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 you, if that is allowed, and that is being done, and there's money to do it, and this money most times are Nigeria, are, 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 is not private money. Mm. These, are, these are money from, this, from, from the system. The money meant for the common, uh, for, for the common for, uh, uh, Nigerians are yeah, being used to do this. When, when a, a, a governor or a minister or whatever will travel from the state to, to uh, Abuja, with uh, about 10 and, uh, they, and they will spend money in that regard. You see, and they will talk about it. There's no money, there's no money, there's this and that. Nigeria is broke. Nigeria. Why, will you, how, how are we not going to be broke? We, we don't, uh, our priority are always get, uh, being dot, uh, dot So the effect is that, look, I, I'm, I'm just worried that this will not be another attempt to, to kill Nigerians because uh, this is very dangerous. It's not like, oh, like uh, the car that will pack up on the, on the road. Mm. So this will just come down and uh, that, that life will be lost in that regard. So I just pray that we will do things that will make this thing come down, and then the other side we won't see hardship, and they won't, and then they will do the right thing to monitor and ensure that look what is being put in the in the in the, in the aircraft are not adulterated, are real and correct. Absolutely, gentlemen. We'll leave the conversation here now, and hope that uh, the government and those. The right places of authority are paying attention to address the various issues that we have looked at uh, this morning. Social development advocate and lawyer Jide Ulugu, as well as uh, lawyer Tunji Abdul Hamid, thank you for your time on the program this morning. Thank you. Thank you. God bless Nigeria. All right.